So it's been almost two years since ChatGPT came out and we have definitely seen some insane developments over these last two years. People have been using it in so many different softwares and also in so many different ways. So I wanted to share some interesting ways that I've been using ChatGPT on a daily basis. Let me know in the comments below if you like it or if there's any interesting ones that you guys would like to share. All right, so let's jump into it. Okay, so a little bit of housekeeping before we begin. This is my ChatGPT homepage. I have my sidebar closed, so that could be a little different than what it shows on your end. I have the model selected at GPT-40. So whether you have a free account or a paid account, you should still be able to follow along. And let's get started. So the first one we have is about optimizing and organizing your thoughts. What I'll do is I'll show it to you in action and then I'll kind of go over how it works and why I think it's useful. So this is the prompt. As you'll see, it just says I'm ready whenever you are. And to get started, I've generated a few random thoughts that I'm going to just plug in one by one. So this is the first thought. This is the second one. And here's another one. So as you'll see that it just basically says, okay, after each and every one of these thoughts, that's how the prompt is trained. And now I'll just say I'm done. So as you see, it basically came up with a summary of all those thoughts, which are done and connected the thoughts in a coherent manner. And it also gave me a, a breakdown of all the to-do items that were in there. Now, what it did is it pulled out descriptions. If it already had a date, like in the thought, if I had said, that I want to get this done today, it would have today's date or it would just recommend a date that it thinks is uh, right for it. And then the same thing with the urgency as well. It just does uh, a basic uh, recommendation. And then it also has uh, some insights for reflection. So a lot of the times our thoughts don't always have like these actionable to do's and just have some, you know, like insights that we came across or some interesting things that we found. And it just like summarizes those non-actionable items into what we would like call a reflection okay so here i have the prompt as you can see it basically starts with saying that an act as a productivity system which is fairly standard for any prompts uh that you would use and then it says that i'll share my thoughts one message at a time please respond with okay after each thought to acknowledge receipt once i say i'm done i would like you to do the following right so it says generate the summary to do breakdown and obviously the reflection part of it. One thing to note here is that I use a lot of examples just so that it understands. This is an example of like a one shot or a few shot prompting. Essentially what it does it just forces the response to be in a nicely structured manner, which is also consistent. Now, here's the thing, though. I don't use it like this. What I instead do is I use a custom GPT. So this is what I mean by a custom GPT. So I have the exact same prompt, which is pasted here. The one that I showed you just now. I have obviously some name and description and a conversation starter, which you see here, what's on your mind. So if I were to paste some thoughts here, you see, if I say I'm done. Yeah, so it would do the exact same thing. It would just go ahead and come up with a summary, uh, a breakdown and insights for reflection. Now, the reason I really like this a lot is because I use notes and to-do lists a lot for general organization to keep myself on the task. I find it if I don't write my thoughts somewhere, if I'm not journaling, writing notes or taking to-do items, I will not be able to remember anything and I won't be able to get anything done. So I have different softwares for organizing these things. However, I feel like this is one of the easiest ways to use AI is because we just naturally have random unstructured thoughts, right? And then I'll write it down. I'll have to figure out what am I going to do with that thought? What do I need to do? And all of those are parts that will come out of the thought, right? And so I find that this is a really interesting use case where I can just like dump all my thoughts into it and just does all of that work for me and then gives me everything in a nicely organized way. And obviously this is what goes in my notes. I don't create every single to-do item out of it. I'm obviously going to look at it and see what makes sense. But this is like a nice starting point, definitely. Uh, and the way I really use it is since ChatGPT came out with their voice uh, feature, I just find myself using it on the phone um, a lot more just because it's very natural for me. The prompt is going to be somewhere in a link in the description. If you need more clarification, feel free to write in the comments and I'll be glad to explain more. So the next one I have, it's like a topic explorer. 
that's like version two. I have another video that I made long back in the initial years when ChatGPT came out. So here's the prompt for it. It's a very simple thing. It basically, all right. So it kind of already, uh, this is something that ChatGPT does all the time, but I'll, sh I'll still show you like a couple of other examples of it. But basically what it is, is that sometimes when I'm trying to understand a topic, I like to just kind of use other people's understanding of it. I, I watch a lot of podcasts and I really like when people discuss like, you know, people that I admire, people that I respect or people whose opinion I value. I really admire their discussions on a certain topic. So this is just me trying to have a, a podcast type outlook on something that is new to me or I don't know what, how should I think about this? So what I do is if I find something and I'll just say that, you know, just can you do a conversation between these two people and i'd like to see how they talk about it right and so as you can see in this one it says the role of technology and human happiness and it talks about einstein socrates and steve jobs which is really interesting and basically it's just like it's a long conversation because i, I usually like longer conversations when it comes to like understanding things because it's different ways of reiterating certain things to like so that like it really settles well in my mind and then at the end there's a tldr as well so again that's an interesting way for me to explore certain topics i just wanted to put it out there again the prompt is going to be available somewhere in the description so let's move on to the next one okay so the next one i have is a workout coach what i found is an interesting way to use chat gpt if you have five minutes and just resistance bands it can give you a workout for those five minutes if you have 20 minutes no equipments it can give you a workout for that if i'm going to the gym i know exactly what i'm going to do but when i'm at home or if i'm somewhere else away from home and i don't have access to equipment i have to do something that i don't normally do and i don't want to mess around and do something that'll hurt myself so if there's a little bit of stretching required to do that kind of workout i would want to know and the prompt encapsulates all of that information i'll show you what i mean so this is the prompt as you'll say it just starts with the general standard which is imagine you're an expert uh, coach you have like and obviously it talks about stretching yoga weightlifting posture alignment warm-up and cool down routines and post-workout nutrition so it's just like some extra information just so that like whatever it gives me it's complete in a way and then it talks about a bunch of examples as we talked about in the first prompt and just more information you can pause the video and read all that so just available time location available equipments and stuff like that so i'll say i have 15 minutes i am in a hotel room do not have any events all right so it came up with the whole workout session so it basically says five minute warm-up as you can see because i spoke about the posture alignment and stuff like that it, it's very detailed on what you have to do exactly how you should be resting on the ground or whatever so it goes over every single thing it gives you full direction on what needs to be done talks about the whole circuit then there's a little bit of cool down period if you just pay attention to this it talks about protein but it already took that into account that you're in a hotel and it talks about boiled egg nuts banana toast so usually like you know these are things that are available at a hotel like if you're going for like breakfast or whatever right usually these are typically what you would expect in a hotel breakfast right so i use this a lot whenever i'm traveling and i find this is really useful at times when you don't have anything else and you just want to get a quick workout in and again here's the prompt it's available somewhere in the description as well let's jump to the next one okay so next one are for recipes so if i have some groceries i'll just put them out in the on the countertop and i'll take my phone out and i'll take a picture and i'll tell chat gpt to come up with the recipe sometimes i'll take the picture of the receipt and i'll just and th that's it i'll just ask chat gpt come up with some recipes right now here's a very interesting one that i've recently started doing and this is like you know if you want to make something healthy tasty and also at the same time like save a little bit of money i'll show you what i mean so i use this app called flip it has all the flyers for my like, grocery stores or whatever you know around me and so 
I'll take like the Walmart flyer and upload it sometimes in PDF or sometimes I'll just paste the link, right? And I'll ask it to give me healthy and tasty recipes based on that. So I have like the link off, pulled up the uh, latest Walmart flyer. And then what I'm going to do is it's going to put the in there and I'm going to be like, give me some healthy and tasty recipes based on the deals on this flyer. So it literally came up with all the things that it has deals on and essentially see like based on the current deals in Walmart here are some healthy and tasty recipes this is insane like the fact that like I can just make this and obviously like I'm not interested in having grilled chicken with vegetables or whatever so I'll just say uh, give me some Indian Mexican recipes so as you can see it gave me some Indian recipes and some Mexican recipes as well and that's it it's just as easy as that it's just like you throw in what you want and it just does all of that work it looks through the entire flyer it's like create the entire thing for you i mean i find this really really useful okay all right so now to the next one so i know a lot of people use chat gpt for using legal contracts and just getting information out of it but the way i like to use it and this could this is nothing novel like some of you might already know and maybe use it already so the way i do it is I'll basically ask it to the what if scenario and then I'll ask for the citation from the actual document. So I'll show you what I mean. So here I have a standard rental agreement from the province of British Columbia where I am. And then what I'm going to say is what if I break the countertop and also give me the exact citation from the agree and see it just goes over that and then it says okay then it specifies that the tenant are responsible for maintaining cleanliness and repairing damage they cause excluding normal wear and tear and here's the relevant section so it then gives me the snippet from the agreement which you can see is super useful it's just a small prompt and there's nothing crazy about this it's just a way of looking at legal agreements and uh, you can do this with pretty much any document out there I mean, I don't think this is only sort of constricted to the legal use cases. The what if scenario and then asking for exact citation is something that I do a lot and I just figured I would share that. All right. So the next one I have is for scraping information off the web. Basically, if you take a picture from the web, like a screenshot, and then give it to ChatGPT and ask it to put that in a nice table format. You can do this with anything. Maybe a lot of people don't know that you can just feed it a screenshot and then ask if it has data you can ask it to organize it so i do this for many different things and i'll just give you a quick example of how it works so here i have a picture of headphones and google shopping if i just take a picture of these and then go back to chat gpt and upload it i can say put this in a nice table format all right, so as you can see, like it says the OCR text extraction from the image is incomplete and contains some inaccuracies due to the quality of the image and the text layout, which I understand because I think at the end of the picture, yep, obviously that you see the bottom ones are not visible completely, which I understand, but basically it can do this. And I just wanted you guys to know that this is also possible with ChatGPT. I'm not sure if people are using it, so figured I would just share it. So. That sort of brings me to the end of the video. There's one other goofy one that I want to just let you know. So I enjoy drinking many different kinds of beers. And what I do is sometimes I'll go to a restaurant and they'll have this. I'll go to a bar and they have this insanely extensive beer menu and I get super excited. But then I get into the issue of not knowing what to order, right? So a lot of the times I'll just click a picture of the menu and I'll just be like, okay, these are the type of beers I like. Can you tell me which ones I should order? And it does a decent job. It, listen, I, like anyway, if I didn't have that, I would just ask the server, you know, what would you recommend? So it's just basically asking ChatGPT and that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one.